What is up guys, Troy here, and yes, welcome to my very first video for Battlefield 4. I finally got to play some Battlefield 4 just last night, and I say finally because the last couple of days have been some headaches and a lot of snafus and snags uh, with trying to play Battlefield 4. And I pre-ordered the game last week, and then on the 29th, or 28th excuse me, of October, I was uh, told that I can uh, pre-install or pre load the game uh, onto my PC so I go ahead and do that and then I basically you know just wait until midnight on the uh, 29th of October so I go in to battle log I, I try to uh, play some uh, a couple of games and record some footage and it says well you need to uh, update your uh, battle log web plugins so I do that go back into battle log uh, try to get into a server now it says I need to update punk buster I'm like, okay, that's normal, so I do that as well. So then I go back into the, try to get back into a server again on Battlelog uh, to play some Battlefield 4, and then all of a sudden it tells me that I can't play Battlefield 4 because Battlefield 4 has not been released yet. Yes, that's right, it tells me I cannot play the game because it has not been released yet. So I go into Origin, I open up the desktop application for Origin, and I under I click on the My Games section, it shows Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, and the Battlefield 4 box art that it normally shows is uh, grayed out, like it's deselected, and I, I scroll my uh, mouse cursor over it, and it says that it's not available until 6 p.m. on the 30th of October for some reason. Now. I really couldn't play Battlefield for another 30, 40 plus hours. It, I was really mad, so I, I ended up getting on uh, Google and, and tried to do a lot of web searches to find out what was going on. And the only really uh, theory I heard from uh, a few people that really makes sense somewhat, uh, kind of, uh, in my opinion, is that if you pre ordered somewhat late, you know, a week or two before the game came out, uh, they're going to stagger the release of the game. Uh, which is, in, I can understand it somewhat, uh, mainly with server load uh, and whatnot, uh, but I had to end up waiting another 30 or 40 hours uh, to play Battlefields. I didn't end up playing till about 6.30, 7 o'clock uh, yesterday evening uh, at about in the evening time on the, the 30th of October, and I played for a good eight and a half, nine hours straight. I, I look up at the clock and realize it's, it's three in the morning. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize I played that long. It only felt like I played for maybe three or four hours, but I got a ton of footage. Uh, I'm loving the game so far overall. After all the, the snags and snafus and uh, headaches that I've had to deal with uh, in the last two days, overall I'm loving uh, this game. There are some, uh, there are a ton of upsides, and yes, there are a few downsides that can be expected with a game of this size and magnitude, uh, the hype around it, and the anticipation for it that a lot of players have, such as myself. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the upsides, some of the downsides. A lot of the upsides that I like uh, is the class balance, uh, the gunplay. I believe that they, they've changed it up just a little bit to give you something fresh, but they kept the core aspects of it from Battlefield 3. That, that was one of the, 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 the really attractive features of Battlefield 3 was its gunplay. I don't think there's very few games that can even come close in probably the last 10 or 15 years of in the history of first-person shooters that can even come close to the gunplay of Battlefield 3. So I believe they kept that core element there in Battlefield 4. Uh, I really uh, like the class balance that they've changed up uh, each class. It's just a little bit uh, to where you, you know your role when selecting uh, that particular class. You know what Assault Medic does. You know what Engineer does. Same with Recon and Support. Uh, but th but they buffed them a little bit and changed them around a little bit. And I actually enjoy that. One of the interesting things I found with the gunplay, uh, for example, is that no longer can you just play as a particular class and then unlock those guns exclusive to that class. You, I, you can no longer grab a PDW or a shotgun and just play as an assault to unlock assault rifles. Now you actually have to use assault rifles to unlock assault rifles. You have to use the LMGs to unlock the other LMGs and so on and so forth with the other classes. I found that interesting. Uh, 
ranking up the normal classes gives you a lot of the gadgets and extra goodies that those are, that are normally associated with those classes. Uh, but you have to use a specific type of weapon to unlock each successive weapon in that line of weapons. I found that interesting. Uh, I don't think that's a big downside at all. I, I like that. It forces you if you if you want that particular sniper rifle or you want that uh, particular LMG or carbine or PDW, you have to use carbines, PDWs, LMGs, sniper rifles. Uh, that way you can kind of become proficient with that type of weapon uh, and be rewarded at the ends. You, know, you have to uh, kind of have to go through the trenches with the AK-12, which I'm not a big fan of, until you get the 4 416 or the AEK-971. Uh, those good guns that were really, uh, really well uh, established in Battlefield 3 and previous Battlefields before that. I want to talk about map design for a little bit. Uh, I think the maps and the map design uh, are just outstanding. Uh, I've, I've played through all the maps in both Rush, Conquest, and uh, Team Deathmatch, the only three modes I've played so far. And I have to say, there's really only one map I don't like, and that is the uh, Flood Control map, I believe it's called. That's the map that uh, you're going to see the sniper footage uh, in this gameplay uh, that I'm playing on. Uh, I just really don't care for the whole canals and the waterways towards the end. Uh, I, I don't believe... In Rush, I don't think it would be balanced quite well, at least in that section of the map. Uh, I'm going to have to play other game modes to see how that plays out. But overall, I like the map design. And one thing that really caught my eye was not only the detail, but the influence for the map design seems to stem from two places. And that would be, they harken back a lot to a few of the Bad Company 2 maps. A lot of the emplacements, MCOM placements, remind me uh, of Bad Company 2, and some of the, the, the map design reminds me of the Endgame DLC uh, from Battlefield 3, which I feel was, a, was kind of a letdown, uh, very unbalanced, beautiful maps, and designed uh, quite well, uh, but I feel that the game modes didn't suit them as well, and I kind of gave... Uh, the Endgame DLC, kind of a harsh review. If you saw that, uh, if you saw that review video that I that I posted quite a few months ago, uh, but overall, I'm I'm liking the maps. I'm liking the gunplay. Now, the downsides uh, I've had. I'm not sure if it's the game. I'm not sure if it's my system or what. I've had a few graphical glitches, nothing big. I actually recorded some footage of it, and I might show it later. Using the XM25 Airburst Automatic Grenade Launcher uh, as a support class, uh, some kind of graphical glitch would come up when I selected that weapon. When I selected any other weapon, when I tossed out a grenade, used a knife, pistol, my LMG, it didn't happen, but for that it did happen. I've had a few crashes, probably about four or five crashes and seven, eight hours of gameplay, and probably about five or six disconnects. Uh, that certainly isn't an issue on my end. That's uh, that's the servers, the server load. The game's a couple days old. You know, there's going to be some issues that need to be ironed out. Uh, but overall, uh, my impressions of this game. Uh, are quite high. I'm liking it so far. Uh, I, I'm certainly anticipating what the uh, future DLCs are going to hold. If they're going to introduce more game modes like they did in Battlefield 3, bring back some old maps, maybe. Uh, of course, they're going to bring back some uh, Battlefield 3 maps. Uh, so I certainly love to see that. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you watching it. Give me a like if you like, and subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, guys, take care.